Hi, my name is Greg Lashemanon, and today we're going to be making some measurements on some 53 gigabaud PAM4 optical transmitters. The uh, measurements that we're making are prim primarily based on the new 802.3 BS standard for 400 gigabit per second systems. And the measurement that uh, primarily is used to quantify the performance of an optical transmitter is the TDEC Q measurement. Transmitter, dispersion, eye closure, quaternary. So the measurement that we make there is based on the uh, Keysight DCA. The TDEC Q measurement was developed in this standard and Keysight uh, collaborated with the standards committee to basically evolve and develop a measurement which essentially was brand new had not been done in any other standards and it's been a, a long and steady process to get where we are today but we're happy to show some excellent results for the TDEC-Q measurement. Uh, the TDEC-Q measurement as defined by the 802.3 BS standard requires a specific equalizer that is known as in the DCA the TDEC-Q equalizer. To configure that we just use the default standard that's been defined by IEEE, which has five taps with uh, T-spacing. And we basically take our raw waveform into that equalizer and observe the output. As far as the tap settings, those are, some, those are automatically calculated by the uh, DCA. And once we've done that, we can actually turn on the TDEC-Q measurement and we get a TDEC-Q value as shown here of approximately 2 dB, which is a very good TDEC-Q value for a transmitter, again, operating at 53 gigabaud for over 100 gigabit per second transmission. In addition to making the uh, TDEC-Q measurement, it's often useful to understand what are the signal parameters or uh, elements of that signal that lead to the TDEC-Q value. So in addition to just TDEC-Q, we also have some additional measurements that allow us to, for example, see which components of that signal are actually the main contributors to the TDEC-Q value. In this case, we see that the actual middle eye is the biggest contributor to TDEC-Q. Also, we can look at the symbol error ratio contributions to that signal by seeing which pieces of that uh, overall PAM4I are the biggest contributors. Again, in this case, the middle eye has the largest symbol error ratio. So the, the TDEQ measurement that we're making with the Keysight DCA is something that's fast, it's flexible, very easy to use, and uh, built into the scope to make it something that is easy to do actually in both an R&D as well as a manufacturing environment. So as far as the hardware to make the, the TDEQ measurement, the instrumentation that we use, a couple of different options. We have the uh, well-known industry standard 86100D digital communication analyzer known as a DCA. And we have the N1092 DCAM, which is a compact, full functioning sampling scope that is used in environments where uh, low cost, uh, high throughput, um, and high accuracy are required. In this particular measurement that we made here, we use the N1092, and it's configured in this case to measure the 53 gigabaud signal. It's also able to measure the 26 gigabaud uh, TDEQ measurement. So here we've got a very flexible system that can be used, again, both in R&D as well as manufacturing. So overall, uh, the, the key site measurement for PAM4 or key site system used for PAM4 measurements is something <clears throat> that we're very proud of in terms of its flexibility, its ability to do a very accurate measurement, something that's very easy, particularly with the TDEQ measurement, and again, is able to make the measurement at both the 50, uh, 26 gigabaud as well as the 53 gigabaud uh, signals that are part of the uh, IEEE 802.3 standards.